What's up guys, JC Tech here, and in today's video we we're going to go over a pre-release build of Windows that it's not a ton different, but there's a few extra little features and that we're going to go over today, and will this be the next update to Windows? I think so, but we'll see. Without any further ado, let's get straight in. Okay, so here we are inside the pre-release build. I've been using this for about two weeks, I think, now. Um, you see down here, it's a re pre-release number 14955, um, or build 14955, and it got weird long number um, over here for it, but for on the pre-release number. But according to Microsoft, they changed things like Skype and um, photos. And I have noticed a few actual differences in the start menu as well. So first off, we'll go into the Photos app, and we'll show you that. So, okay, so right here. It says, this is what it says is new, um, you can draw on anything right from it, which you couldn't do, um, obviously because it's new, it's a neat feature. You can edit it better according to this, right in the Photos app, um, and there's a new look, which if you use the photo apps very often, you will be able to tell right away, and what the crap is that? <laughs> But anyway, you'll see that the layout's different, and the color scheme by default is different. And I do like it better. It's a lot more user-friendly to me. Um, you still got your standard buttons up here that were there before, and no different icons. But... As you can see, when you s click over here, it will tell. It will look the same. Okay, so it's already got the video from at the beginning that you saw in this video already on to the photos app which is nice um that's the main difference i've noticed over the past two weeks um it does have one problem i'll say this is that it it'll make your speakers make weird noises every once in a while like not usually when you're playing music um, most often it's been on websites, especially if you open more than one thing that uses audio, even if it's not playing at once. That will happen especially often. So you'll be able to see what I'm talking about in a minute. So here's a whoops, and I do not want to do that. Oh, and Movie Maker it likes to do it too. See, right there it made a weird sound. That's not what it sound. I mean, it doesn't sound bad. It's just <laughs> not what it's supposed to. So, see, just listen. It doesn't sound weird when you do music through the Groove Music app, at least. Okay, so now I'm going to open up a different song at the same time and see if it does anything weird. Because sometimes it won't. So I'm going to pause this. Minimize. I'm going to choose to open Newsroom in a different one just so it show you it more accurately. Maybe they because I've gotten a few tiny updates, maybe they fixed it. So let's choose Windows Media Player and see if it makes any weird noises. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. Sure, 
stuck on that picture even though it has nothing to do with So as you can see, it does make weird noises. So I'm gonna close it and spare my ears the pain. And let's go back here and see if it'll... See, then all of a sudden it does it over here. Let's close that and try newsroom again and groove, see if it will fix its weird noises. See, as you can see, it is not making weird noises anymore. So, they'll have to fix that, even if it's just in the background and you're not even using it. You see, it messes all the audio up with your speakers. And no, it's not just because of my particular computer, because this did not happen in the same circumstances on the regular release that was not a pre-release. So yeah, that's the only bug I've noticed. Some people have been complaining about changing the background being a problem. I haven't noticed that, but I guess I'll go ahead and test it out right now. I kept it this way, this one background, because I really do like it. Um, just a little fun fact, not really related to the video, but Microsoft spent thousands of dollars making that entire background out of nothing but lasers. So, that's pretty cool, but we'll get on into changing the background, see if it makes does anything weird, I haven't noticed anything, maybe it'll change. Okay, so here um, is the uh, background changing page, you could call it, in the settings. So I'm going to try to use a solid color, because that's how it was reported to be not working. I'm going to choose pink and see it's done it. Whoops, wrong one. <laughs> so let's close here. And according to them, it just switched right on over to black after a few seconds. It's not happening for me. I'm not going to call them a liar because there could be variances, I guess. Because if you're using an older computer, it might not work. Newer computer, I don't know. This is a pretty new computer. But that's not related. So I'm going to hurry and switch back to my normal background. And so, yeah. Okay, so all in all, it, it's not a whole lot different. But it's a lot the different in some ways, like, <laughs> it's not a lot different, mainly they redesigned apps in this one, but, they've come out with one, actually, other pre-release version, um, it's 14959 or something like that, um, they just released it today, um, so, I guess if you're interested in that, um, link in the description maybe I guess to but <laughs> okay so how I got this pre-release of Windows is through the Windows Insider program I'll drop a link to it in the description um, so it has to do with your settings panel and you have to have Windows 10 to get these Windows 10 pre-releases um, so yeah They'll give you set several sets of instructions. You'll have to keep checking back to your settings manual. You'll have to do a few things. Um, you'll have to choose what ring you're in. Fast ring allows you to get the updates as soon as they are released. Um, as long as you're not already on a pre-release build. It's slow ring. It gives you, I don't know how long, but it makes you wait longer. And then there's another one called, uh, like, 
preview or something which gives you like preview to the same thing like really close before it, when it's actually released so you have to choose that and then just wait for an update link again is down below so that's going to be pretty much it for this video guys if you enjoyed it and like to see more videos like these make sure to drop a like on this video if you're new around here which i know you probably are get subscribed you can click the button that should be around right here um even if you're on a phone and make sure to check out my last video it will be somewhere over here and i will see you guys in